Okay, so now that you've got to this point and you have your beakers all set up, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to keep these beakers here and not touch them for the rest of the lab. If you look up above, you have these four clips. And what we're going to do is, let me scroll out a little bit, we're going to put paper in those four clips and on each of the four pieces of paper we're going to put a dot. Now we have three colors. So first we're going to work with red, all red, okay? Uh, this dot has to be in a specific place though. It has to be about two centimeters up from the bottom. I can't see two centimeter, centimeters right here, so I'm going to have to uh, zoom in. And now I can kind of see it right about there. Don't have to be too perfect, so I'm going to find about two centimeters both centimeters, both sides. Move over to the paper, put a dot right in the middle, right there. Okay, put the red marker down. Now I take this paper and I'm going to put it up on one of the clips. Good. Now I have to do the same thing four more times. So I pick up a piece of paper, put it down next to the ruler, pick up the same color, go find two, and put it right about in the middle. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's all done. Okay, so it's all done. I've got four strips of paper. They each have the same color dot on them, starting off with red. I put it two centimeters up from the bottom and they're all on this rack up here. Now what we do is we're going to take that whole rack and lower it. So I click here at the side, put it down in the lower spot, drop it, and now it's in the water. Well, the liquid. I need to let it sit there for 20 minutes. Now when you do the tutorial, time moves quickly. So you can learn the tutorial quickly. When you do the real lab, I don't know why they did this. It bothers me. Time does not move quickly. 20 minutes is 20 minutes. Why they thought it was so important that you have to wait 20 minutes, I have no idea. If I had programmed this, it would go brrrp and 20 minutes would be done and you could see your results. So what you have to do now is go away, go do something, maybe work on another class. Uh, maybe do some other stuff in chemistry. Who knows? Read a book. Whatever you want. You've got 20 minutes. Set yourself a timer if you're going to be away from the computer. Otherwise, this one will beep and alert you and then come back after 20 minutes is done. So I'm going to pause this video so it's not a 20-minute video. And I'm going to show you what we do after this is all done. Okay, we're uh, one second away timer goes off and now we've got our paper and it looks very different so first we take it off and put it back on the top rack to dry eh, come on oh these the software can be picky about where exactly you click all right <coughs> so now what we're going to do is uh, take a few measurements and put them in our data table. So again we've got water, alcohol, water and alcohol, and vegetable oil and we use the red ink. So if I go back to my data table let's see what I was using. I was using the red ink so that's this row here. And normally what I do is in the data table if I if I have a place for you to put in data I I put a red border around it but I don't know, I just didn't look right, so instead I made a colored background here. Alright, so in the red ink, let's start with water. Well, the first thing we have to do is figure out the height. Okay, so if we go back to our lab, this one was in water, so I'll take this paper and I'll move it down to the ruler. And I'll see it went up to about 8 centimeters, now it started at 2. So that's about six centimeters. So for height, I'm going to record 
six centimeters that's how high it got now the colors what colors do I have here well if I go back it looks to me like I've got red and pink so I'm just gonna write that down colors red comma pink okay now we didn't do black ink so we have to stay in the red row here and move on to alcohol so uh, let me go back I'm going to take that first piece of paper and I'm going to get rid of it here. Let's see, you have to click on it. Come on. All right, click on it and then you just kind of move down somewhere around here and click and, and you just throw it away. Okay. So now, let's take a look at the alcohol paper. I'm going to grab it, move it over to the ruler. And it looks like it went up to about 7.5. So that's five and a half centimeters that it rose. So I'm going to write that down in my data table. The height here, 5.5. You know what? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that height might be a little confusing. Uh, I'm going to change height to distance then. That's what I'm going to do distance. I'm going to do that for all of them. Oops. Okay, so by the by the time you get this, I should say distance instead of height. That's what I do here, okay? I just keep making little changes until I think it's really good and no one's going to get confused. And if people get confused, I go back and I make more changes. Because I don't want you getting confused. I want it to be easy peasy for you. Okay. So now we have the distance that it traveled was 5.5. .5. I forgot the units there. I'm going to change it to 5.5 .5 centimeters. It's important in chemistry that you have the right units. Okay. Uh, next we need to put in the colors for alcohol. So let's take a look at it. What kind of colors do I see here? It looks to me like it's red and pink again. So I'm going to put red, comma, pink. All right. <coughs> so what would I do after that? I take that paper and I throw it away down here somewhere. Next, I'd go to the water and alcohol, take off the paper, measure it, record the distance, record what colors I see. Do the same thing with the paper that was in vegetable oil. Take it off, I'd measure how far it went, record the distance, and I'd write down what colors I saw. Okay. So after that, we'll have some data. I'm just going to put in X's here. Don't you put in X's. This is just so it looks like it's filled out here for me. Okay. You would have your numbers and, and your colors and everything. Now, guess what we do next? We do the exact same thing. We keep those beakers where they are, but now we're going to take out four slips of paper and we're going to put black dots on them instead of red dots. Okay, so when we're all done, what we should see is we should have this rack and we should have four slips of paper, but instead of red dots like we had before, all black dots. So let me just pause the video and get that done just to show you. Okay, so now I've got my four strips with black dots and guess what I do? I take the whole thing, I move it down, it's in the liquid, and I let it go for, I have to reset it, huh? Now I let it go for 20 minutes. During this 20 minutes, you go away, you do something else, you work on some other project, you work on some other class, some other chemistry work. After 20 minutes, you come back. 
And when you come back, what do you do? Go to the data table, you take those uh, slips of paper out, you measure how far the ink moved for the water, you write down what colors you see. You measure how far the ink moved for the alcohol. You write that down. You write down what colors you see. You measure how far the ink moved in the water and alcohol combination. You write down the colors you see. You measure how far the ink moved in the vegetable oil. And you write down the colors you see. After you're done with that, you get rid of all those slips of paper. And you're going to do it one more time this time with green, green dots. Do the exact same thing. Four papers with green dots two centimeters up from the bottom. Put them in the liquid for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes you measure the distance that they traveled in the vegetable oil, water and alcohol, alcohol and water and you write down the colors you saw in water, colors you saw in alcohol, colors you saw in water and alcohol and the colors you saw in the vegetable oil and after you've done all that you have filled out your data table and you're done so how long is this part of the lab going to take well it's uh, at least 20 minutes for the red 20 minutes for the black and 20 minutes for the green well, that's about an hour right there I wish it could be faster I wish you didn't have to wait that 20 minutes. I wish you only had to wait 20 seconds, but that's the way it is, okay? So I'm going to stop this video, and I'll be back to talk about the lab report.